You see, a marketer's dream is knowing the appropriate timing to implement something. And one of the things I have often found in the training of people in marketing that is actually effective and profound is that people often wait too long to implement because they start using their own mind to taint themselves. They start thinking about whether or not someone's important, whether or not they're successful, whether or not it will work or not. And hopefully they stop listening to the experts. And because they stop listening to the expert, they fail. And then they want to blame the expert, and it's not the expert's fault. I've had that happen several times with both men and women across every color of spectrum. And the attitude is, no, we did the marketing research at that time, and at that moment in time, this would have worked. But you waited six months, and time has changed. The community has evolved. Society has shifted, and therefore it doesn't work the same. You have to be able to take action in a moment of time, not at all. You have to be willing to make a plan that's going to be predictive for the next quarter. And the way to handle that is to take advantage of the downturns in business. You see, the downturn in business starts in November. As we head into Thanksgiving, people start to downturn in their mind that they're done with their business year. They don't want to spend any more money if they're in marketing or manufacturing, rather, because their downturn, their shutdown time for their manufacturing plants happen during winter because, A, they don't want people driving the roads and freezing and slipping and having problems that cause an impact to the productivity of their company, which supports America, Inc., we know that for sure in automotive and it's probably the same in other manufacturing environments. That they also recognize that the holidays are essential to people's families. So they give people their two weeks off or whatever, their three weeks off or their month off during the holidays. So they only come in for spot working, spot checking, but most of the production has already been completed by early November. And they just do a little reworking, a little bit of welding, a little bit of improvement, a little bit of prepping for the new year during the holiday time with the people who live closest to the plant or closest to the area and openly there are people who quit at that time so they have more time for their families that they don't get all year. The bottom line is that in marketing you have to know when the timing is hot and right and the people who have been abusing my fucking face have been lying to themselves about their rights. The people who have been sexually assailing me at night without my consent are not allowing me to fight back under the second amendment. You see, if it was an actual rape attack in front of me, I could defend myself to a point, but I had to make a choice when I was on campus. Do I pound the black little shitbag down who was stomping on my head and kill him in that moment of time in self-defense? Or do I beat him down enough that he'll bring back three of his fucking black brothers to beat me up like they did to one of our shelter friends who ended up dying in a picnic yard? You see, the shitbags in the community never stop thinking, I'm going to be uppity, I'm going to be in charge, I'm going to be large. No, you're not. You're misrepresenting yourself, you're misrepresenting your community, and you're misrepresenting everything America's about.